Okay, so here is the square foot garden. It is June 2nd, Friday morning at around 9.30. And so I'm just going to walk through here real quick and I'll take you around to the, uh, my back deck and show you my vertical planters, the green stalks here, after the square foot garden. And I'm doing an early tour this time because so many things are changing right now I'm, since I'm switching from the spring garden to the summer garden. So I just want to show you guys some things I've been working on. Um, okay, so I am planting out tomato plants now and in the square foot garden I'm putting three here um, you usually can put one per square foot and this is a four foot wide bed but I decided that I want to just do just three to keep the air circulation nice around the tomato plants so that's what's happening there and then in here I have of course my cabbage still and the cabbage is almost ready for harvest. I have some insect damage on the outside leaves but usually the inside head as I've told y'all before is fine and I feed um, those outside leaves to my chickens. They love the Chinese cabbage and the rapini in the back there it is flowering and those stalks are getting real tough right now so I've stopped harvesting those. That was the first thing I started harvesting out of the spring garden though and it was just wonderful. I will definitely be growing that again and again. And then down here you see some cauliflower over there. Um, and it's not heading up or anything. This is my first year growing cauliflower. So I'm sure I'm going to learn a few things. Little tricks here. And I'll try to share those with y'all along the way. A few more tomato plants here. Uh, the Uncle Mark Bagby, which is my, the potato leaf variety. You'll see uh, two different types of leaves on these tomatoes. They're both what are called indeterminate, so they're vining. They won't bush out, and um, they're heirloom. So, uh, those are the tomato plants, and then I have some beautiful onions coming up nicely. I also snuck in a couple of more tomato plants on the corner here. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a little stake like this to wrap it around. This is how I did in my very first square foot garden. I just put one on each corner of my bed and they did great that way. And it really won't shade out much because they're right there on the corner. Um, I planted some f a few flowers in here as well uh, as some borage which will attract the bees um, and then I have a honeydew here it's not really growing much but it's just starting to get its true leaves so that will grow out into the walkway and I have actually been treating my walkway for the weeds I can pull them but I get so tired of weeding and I'm a little bit spoiled with the vertical planters I don't have to weed my garden anymore so I just pour a little bit of vinegar on the weeds to kind of kill them off and so it seems to be working. I did that about two nights ago and I think the smell may actually keep the critters away from my garden too so we'll see. I've had some cats digging around in my beds and oh it's just kind of annoying when that happens. <laughs> okay so three more tomato plants and I've pulled out uh, the sugar snap peas as you can see all through here is where I had sugar snap peas and now I put in tomato plants and um, that's really kind of a succession planting a lot of times if you have a really big space you're gardening in you can leave those plants your, you know your green beans and your peas but in a small space you need to pull that out and plant something behind it okay and I think I, what I did over here yeah I put basil seeds out there yesterday two squares of basil and so I have a tomato here, two squares of basil, and thyme. And I have dill growing right up through it. I just threw dill seeds out everywhere. And I just come out here, clip it, put it in my fresh eggs. It's so wonderful. I did pull, um, clip back this oregano some, as you can see. It was just taking over. And I, I wanted it to in a way until I started thinking about tomatoes. <laughs> well, I'm going to take out some of that oregano and plant more tomatoes. <laughs> I love my tomatoes. And then we have down here, I think, another um, a butternut squash, I think, right down there. If you can see it, it's getting, it needs to get a little bit more sun. It'll get more sun midday. Uh, and then cauliflower. Okay. All right. And um, this is where my other rapini plant was. I just cut it down. And I kind of just wanted to see what would happen to it. If it would show some new growth I don't think it will and um, I will pull it out so I'm still kind of working in this bed alright so you see here I'll probably plant something else here 
and I've put in, a, of course, sweet potatoes here. This is my where all my parsley is. I have a Thai basil there, um, and a honey nut. I think that's a butternut squash as well, and more tomato plants. And I'm planting a lot of tomato plants because last year I didn't plant many big ones. I just did the little ones in the uh, container garden, and I thought, well, I'll just pick up the big ones at the market. You know, we have a lot of farms around here. And I just couldn't believe, I couldn't hardly find any good tomatoes last year. And so, <clears throat> um, the ones I did find were $3 each. <laughs> I'm going to grow my own this year. I'm going to really get some tomatoes growing. So, <clears throat> I have a lot of little tomato plants through here. And uh, a Thai basil there. Alright, so, that's the little square foot garden. The blueberries are ripening up over here. And so I've just kind of clipped the canopy sh shut with a binder clip. I could have used a clothespin as well. Something just to kind of fasten them together. But they are doing great. Alright, so let me show you my pepper plants. And then we'll go up to the, um, the back deck. Alright, so here are my pepper plants and then my Meyer lemon tree. So many blooms on there. They smell so wonderful. I love the smell of citrus blossoms. Just wonderful. And over here, the sun's not quite hitting this tree yet, but there's the kaffir lime tree and some lemongrass. Okay, so um, the peppers are doing pretty good here. Taking off in growth. Um, again, this, these are mostly red bells and jalapenos. And I'll show you something I did over here. Um, I wanted to have a way to get water up to the square foot garden. And so I got this at Harbor Freight. And it's just a way I could connect two hoses. And so that way I wouldn't have to drag the hose up and down every time I needed to have water at the top. So there's an idea for you. Harbor Freight for that little device there. And then right here is my greenhouse that does not have a cover on it that I used to grow pole beans in a couple of years ago. And I did a video on that. And I like to use this for trellising things like green beans, tomatoes, cucumbers. And so I have some extra tomato plants, a lot of them actually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them down to that garden down there. And I'll use this as a trellis for my tomato plants. I, that's my goal anyway. It might be a little bit too ambitious for me at this time of year. But that's where I like to throw everything that I don't want to just throw in the garbage. I like to put it down there in that garden. So it's not something, I, like I said, I told y'all before, I don't water it or anything like that. I'll throw extra seeds out there, extra plants, cuttings, things like that if I, if I just don't want to throw them out. So now let's head up to the green stock garden. Okay, this is my container garden, and I have been working hard out here getting everything planted for the summer. Um, I have planted a lot of tomato plants over here. I think I showed y'all some of these in my last um, tour video. So I am trying to grow some of the big ones this year, which I've not done before. I've grown, of course, a lot of cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, and I've grown even um, the little six ounce tomatoes and so these some of these I grow I've grown them in the square foot garden and they get anywhere from a pound to two pounds each <laughs> so I don't know that that's going to happen out here this is an experiment so we'll see you I'll do updates and you'll be able to see how everything's going now all my cucumbers are coming up over here and this this um, planter I'm planting market more which is an heirloom variety of cucumber but it also offers a lot of disease resistance which you know is very important for cucumbers so um, heirloom, a lot of heirlooms succumb to disease very easily so if you can find a variety that has some disease resistance that's great uh, I think I have some peppers in here I snuck a couple of peppers over here this year not I'm not filling up a whole green stock up here with peppers okay now there's a lot of tomatoes in here but a lot of these are cherry tomatoes the Matt's wild cherry which I grew so much of last year they did great up here okay I already put my little supports on both of these and last year I ran a string from the top one to the bottom support to help those tomatoes grab onto something I could wrap them around the string and so that worked out pretty good all right all my lettuce here 
I've been making so many salads. Just love them. Oh my goodness, they are wonderful. And I'm going to miss this so much. But usually this French crisp hangs in for me um, up until the very end of June. That's usually when I have to start pulling it out. So I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. Um, and then here are the scallions coming up really nice, looking good. A lot of arugula. This was my second planting of arugula. And then more scallions down here. I use scallions in everything. As a matter of fact, there's nothing better than the smell of scallions simmering in just a little tad of butter. And then you cook your eggs in that. It's so simple and so delicious. So um, that is just wonderful. So that was my second planting of arugula. Now these are my potatoes. These are the German butterball potatoes. I had some other ones called Peter Wilcox, and they started at the bottom of the tier, get some blight. And so um, I quickly removed them from the garden. I kept one tier of the Peter Wilcox, which did, which did not show any blight on it, because blight will take over your potatoes overnight almost. So I kept um, this one here. And so I'll see, maybe I can get some potatoes out of there. The, the potatoes were just starting to form um, when I pulled them out. So I'm sad about that, but I had to make a decision. So out they went. And um, some of the bib lettuce up here has a beautiful color to it. It's like a burgundy color. More scallions. And then the bottom three are uh, green beans, bush beans. I like to grow jade bush beans. They have a lot of disease resistance. I've grown them for years and years. Love them. Now this is, you'll notice, is the leaf planter. I'm experimenting growing bush beans in the leaf planter. Uh, you really want to grow uh, usually green beans in the original. So that's where I've grown them before. So this is another experiment. And so we'll see. I just put these in the soil a few days ago so they're obviously not up yet but maybe my next tour in about two weeks we'll see some green beans i also put some uh, thai basil over here all right and here are my extra tomato plants and i'll put uh, some of these out at the garden by the river um, right now i have potatoes planted out there which are coming up great um, but when i pull those out i'm going to put tomatoes in behind them these are the polish dwarf tomatoes and those will go in behind my potatoes up here in the green stock. That uh, particular plant is not supposed to get more than about two and a half to three feet high. So I think I mentioned that in my last video but um, that's my first year growing that one. So we'll see how they do and then of course I have some perennial flowers over here um, such as Sweet William, Bee Balm, Hollyhock, um, a couple of different things over here and of course, the first year, I don't think a lot of these bloom, but the second year, they should. So, I would just like to have some flowers pop up every year that are real pretty, and I don't have to worry about starting them like I do. Uh, these are my zinnias here. I have some cactus zinnias, so um, that's always really pretty. I love the zinnias. They're real easy to grow from seed. And, of course, over here, just the tarragon, which I just uh, dried the other day. I cut back my tarragon in the front square foot garden. I dried about a pint of tarragon. Love it. And lemongrass. The mint here is spearmint. Um, I have a lot of this growing out at the garden out by the river. So I just propagated some because I love the flavor of this. The apple mint that I you may have seen in my earlier video this week of the uh, beef salad. Apple mint's more of a thicker leaf and it's kind of hairy has a great flavor don't get me wrong but uh, this flavor is really really much better I think and then ARP rosemary starting to show some growth is starting to bush out a little bit so I'm really happy about that oh and by the way on this planter here where I planted green beans this is where I had my first planting of arugula and it was starting to bolt on me so that's something I pulled out and planted a summer vegetable behind it again succession planting I have a whole video on that if you've missed it I'll leave a link for you okay and then over here we have um, tomato plants down here at the bottom basil and I have not planted these upper two pockets here yet and I'm going to do one whole tier of fennel this year but I'm going to try to do this uh, more organized than I did last year. I'm not going to put anything bushy on the top two tiers. I'm going to keep those limited to things like scallions which grow straight upright. Maybe my second 
next here will be something like fennel and my original planter it didn't do well in the leaf last year but because I found last year you know I grew uh, nasturtiums on my top tier and it crowded and out the sun so it shaded some of the tiers below it so uh, they didn't do as well like my fennel didn't do as well in the lower tiers because I had nasturtiums planted up above it so I haven't planted anything in the lower tiers on this one yet um, I just filled this up last night I mixed new soil for it and filled it up last night so haven't quite decided what I should put in here if you have any suggestions let me know I'll stick through my seed drawer see what I can find and um more arugula down here lots and lots of arugula nasturtiums okay and then scallions on top and just really enjoying everything out here all right so there you have it um if you have any questions about what's going on please leave them down below the video i'll try to help you as best i can and thanks so much for watching y'all have a beautiful day